Or it's still sketchy, but and they got the run game going as well with Samson Evans last week. So good signs for the offense. And uh, Kent State, real quick, they can't. You know, in years past, they were a lot better at home as a favorite, but I think they're going off that and the big win last week. So yeah, give me the give me the over the touchdown here. All right, both of us uh, lean into the EMU Eagles here in their preferred point spread role, which is definitely. Uh, as underdogs. All right, Western Michigan and Central Michigan here. Directional school, in-state battle. Central Michigan, 11, 11 and a half point home favorites here. 49 and a half, 50 the total in this one. Uh, like I say, in this conference with how much parity there is and how a lot of, especially this year, there's not a whole lot of separation between the best team in the conference uh, and the worst team in the conference. And there's no question about it when you look at Western Michigan uh, and the season they've had. Uh, they are without a doubt, uh, you know, probably the worst team in the conference outside of Akron. You know, it's them and Akron at the bottom uh, of the MAC, no question. Um, but, you know, do you still want to lay 10 and a half here with Central Michigan? That's the question you've got to ask yourself. Uh, it's a Central Michigan team that in the double digit favorites role, only one time, Connor, in conference play so far when they were 12 point favorites at Akron and another team that's a bottom feeder. And they only won that game by seven. So that's the issue here with Central laying double. Are they the better team? Absolutely. Richardson is certainly uh, the better option at the quarterback spot uh, for the uh, Chippewas. He's played well the last couple of weeks against uh, Buffalo and Northern Illinois. That was a great comeback, by the way, uh, against uh, Buffalo uh, last uh, week. Uh, 31-27, they were trailing much of that game, but they found their way uh, to uh, get the uh, job done. Uh, of course, Salopic was terrible. Uh, for Western Michigan at the quarterback spot. They have switched quarterbacks the last uh, couple of games, uh, and they have gone with uh, Trayson uh, Borget uh, at quarterback. And you look at last week against uh, – uh, uh, yeah, last game against Northern Illinois, one touchdown he had, no interceptions, but only completing 50% completions in that game and only 52% completions uh, for the season that he's been in there. So, uh, unfortunately, Tyson Borget has given you – performances you'd prefer to forget uh, here for this uh, Western uh, Michigan team. So that's the issue. I don't know if they have the offense, but at the same yeah. time, we've seen Central Michigan spit it up the last time they got um, in the double-digit favorite role here in MAC play against a Akron team that is right there with Western Michigan as a bottom feeder in the conference. So tough, tough game. I mean, I would lean dog, but I don't really like much of what I'm seeing from Western. Uh, maybe not enough to play it. What do you think here, Connor? That's how I feel. I mean, and this line, you know, is moving. I see 11 and a half at a lot of places. You mentioned it. Their quarterback play, I thought, has been the worst, basically almost in the MAC, you know, from Western Michigan. So the change, even though it hasn't been great, might be needed. I just don't think Central, you mentioned they have the better team, and they ran it all over Buffalo, 300 yards. If, like, if they do that again, they could win by two touchdowns. But this is a pretty good rivalry here, and Western's own them you know, the last 10 years or so, I think they're like eight and three. Um, and even the few losses have been pretty tight last year, though, central won 42, 30, that was their biggest win. I don't know, in 15 years. So I think they get up for this one. Um, it's not the top of the list, but 11 and a half. I leaned Western a little bit. I just, there's no offense from them. It just, if I can get a little bit there, I think they can hang within the number. Yeah. They're going to have to force some turnovers, so red zone defense is going to have to be good. And look, lately in the red zone, Central's been good. Central just beat some pretty good teams, Northern Illinois and Buffalo. They, maybe Central's rounding into form because remember, they had some – Richardson was banged up there for a bit, and they kind of had a dip in their play, Central Michigan. But it's still a pretty good offense when they're fully healthy. They are now. Lou Nichols has also had some injury concerns for Central. He looks to be healthy again. And Jim McElwain's a quality coach, so – Maybe it's a buy sign that Central Michigan, but I don't want to lay doubles in a rivalry game, even if they are the better team going into it.